Clue Network. To edify, to encourage, to upskill. This is Christian Life Upskill with Ifai of Hong Subscribe now. Hi, welcome to Clue Christian Life Upskill. My name is Ifai of In this video, I want to be sharing on this scripture, John chapter 14, verse 12, when Jesus said, you know, verily I say unto you, he that believes in me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works, because I go to the Father. So, in this video, I want to try, I want to try and explain to us what the greater works are. I understand that some of us have come over the years to have a conclusion of what these greater works are. So, maybe just listening to what I also have to say. You know, we don't know everything. We are progressive in our knowledge, in our revelation of God's word. So, that is what I want to do in this video, in sharing with us what the greater works are. Hallelujah. You know, if we must reap the end time harvest that God has programmed for us, we must be involved in these greater works. You know, and our heart must be there. We must reap the harvest. If we must reap the harvest that God programmed for us, then these greater works must be forefront in our pursuit. Hallelujah. And so those are the things I want to be explaining in this in this video. And I believe that it will be a blessing to us. You know, in talking about the greater works, it's so important to understand that the greater works will not replace the works. You know, Jesus says, the works that I do shall you do also, and greater works. So when we're talking about greater works, greater works does not replace the works. Hallelujah. So, Maybe, you know, Jesus worked miracle and then he also worked miracle. Maybe, you know, like raising the dead. Raising the dead still belongs to that category of works, not greater works. Hallelujah. I know there's this general belief we have in the body of Christ that doing the greater works is, is doing more miracles than Jesus did when he was alive. And of course, that is possible when you put into consideration that Jesus lived 33 years before he went to be with God. You know, and over the years, there have been men of God who lived up to 90. And so when you begin to look at it that way, they must have, because the hand of God is also is upon their life, they must have healed more people than Jesus. You know, there's a man I was, I followed a lot in my early 20s. His name is Prophet Kobus Van Resbaum. He's from South Africa, in a place called Steve Fontaine. You know, between 2000, and 2013, when he went to be with God, he prayed for and was able to heal over 16,000 cripples, build up shoes, wheelchair, crutches. You know, when you go to the church wall, you see those those crutches hanging all over the wall. Plenty of them in their hundreds. 16,000 cripples in the space of 13 years. He went to be with God in the year 2013. Hallelujah. So, so you can see that he had more number than Jesus did. But even at that, he still belongs to that level of works, not greater works. You know, there is other man also, I want to use this example. His name is David Hoga. He's a missionary to the Latino world, the you know, Nicaragua, Colombia, you know, those interior area. He's a missionary, powerful man of God. You know, it was recorded that he has raised over 200 people from the dead. 200 people. You know, why am I saying all this? I'm saying this to back up the point that if you live longer than Jesus lived as an anointed man of God, it is highly possible that you must have healed more numbers of people than Jesus did. It was recorded that Jesus raised three people from the dead. But David Hogan has done over 200. But in all... It still belongs to that category of works and not greater works. You know, when I begin, when we begin to talk about greater works, it has to do with what happened when Jesus left. Now we we'll still go back to that scripture. Jesus said, "The works that I do," he said, "Verily, verily, and say unto you, the works that believes in me, the works that I do shall he do, and greater works because I go to the Father." So. The greater works has to be when Jesus had gone to the Father. Hallelujah. And so we begin to consider what are those things that happen 
when Jesus went to the Father, that didn't happen when Jesus was in the earth. There are two things. The first was that it was possible after Jesus has gone to heaven for man to be born again. When Jesus was in the earth, nobody could get born again. Salvation was not consummated. It was consummated when Jesus died on the cross, you know, went to heaven, you know, at the, at the, at the Holy of Holies and shed his blood and consummated salvation. Then it was possible for man to be born again. But before then, it wasn't. So it was after Jesus had gone to heaven that it was possible for man to be born again. So salvation is the greatest of all miracles. Why? Because the nature of man is changed. Hallelujah. You know, when man sinned in the Garden of Eden, something happened. The book of Romans chapter 5, is from 12. It says, as by one man's offense, sin came into this world. It says, and death by sin. And Bible says, and death was passed to all men for all of sin. So how did all sin? All sin because Adam sinned. So when Jesus came, he came as the second Adam. So when you believe in him, something is changed in your spirit. That sentence that was passed to Adam, you are excluded from it. And it's a great miracle. And that is what Jesus primarily came to do, to take away sin. Remember in the book of John chapter 1, if you read that verse 29 and 30, you know, when John saw him, he says, Behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. So, miracle of salvation is the greatest miracle of all. And that is one of the greater works that Jesus says we will do, you know, by reaching out to people, getting them saved, getting them born again, taking them out of the domain of darkness into the domain of light. Hallelujah. And then the second greater works that we're supposed to do as Christians is getting to fill with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. You know, in the Old Testament, this was not possible. The Holy Ghost only came on three sets of people, the king, the priest, and the prophet. And just for a period of time, it doesn't stay on them, like staying on them permanently. But you see, in the New Testament, it was made available to all Christians. Hallelujah. You know, in the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 28, you know, God speaking to the prophet Joel. He says, in the last day, say, God, I will pour my spirit upon our flesh. He says, your sons and daughters shall prophesy. The young men shall see visions. The old men shall dream dreams. You see, but this was a promise, but it was fulfilled on the day of Pentecost in chapter 2. You know, when Peter was talking to them, he says, This is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. So the Holy Ghost was poured on all of us. Everybody who believes in Jesus now have access to receive the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. So what is the Holy Ghost for, for the Christian? One is to make us effective witness for Christ. Then second is to help us to pray in the Spirit. You see, because that says, when I pray in the Spirit, I speak to God. Hallelujah. So these are the two greater works that Jesus wants us to do. Yes, there's place for miracle, signs and wonders. That is true. Jesus did that. But it's a greater works that I have set for us to do. And that is getting souls born again, making them to come out from darkness to light, and then filling them with the Holy Spirit. And as we do this, the Bible says, the knowledge of the glory of God shall expand around the world. Hallelujah. So this is what I want to be sharing in this video, you know, about the greater works. And I know that it has blessed you. Hallelujah. You know, before I go, please, I want to encourage you, if this video, this channel has been a blessing to you, to please, uh, I will encourage you to, to subscribe, to like, to turn on the post notification, and also to share with your friends. So thank you very much for taking that time to watch this video. Until I see you in my next video, God bless you.